all right and why not just get back up if you're sad if you're sad right now get back up or try to you need some help maybe when you're feeling sad when you're feeling down and out and not on your feet and you get back on your feet again if you're if you're okay right now that's okay but be ready be ready because sometimes you're gonna be sad and stuff and when you're sad and angry or emotional or whatever some some bad stuff happens or you make mistakes or do bad stuff it's okay because god forgives you and 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 other people can forgive you a lot of people do in a lot of cases and why not just give back up and that's what i say so that's what i believe in and that's what i try to remind myself from time to time like at the moment i'm trying to get back to uh becoming the original oatmeal uh juliano that's who i am this is my private diary ladies and gentlemen it's uh 2018 january 10 wednesday morning about 10 or 11 a.m walking to the first club la brea la and i was born in 1985 but 11 monday i'm oatmeal Giselle arnold and this is my diary, private diary, stupid, it's a stupid, retarded diary, don't watch it, cause it's stupid, it's just, just stupid, like me Nelson, a stupid neighbor, just me talking about stuff, it's not, it's not like me trying to entertain and tell you something, but it could have some nuggets of gold, maybe, but who knows, because I'm not really editing this, I'm not really trying to say anything great or anything, but I'm, I'm doing this mostly for my own good or bad good or bad i don't know but one of those things you know you are what you eat and i'm oatmeal and was watching uh watching something i want to tell you what i was not really watching but i heard heard the tv when i was leaving the house this morning but before i tell you that i'm just going to tell you that I got food stamps this month actually last month December 2017, just got back from D, 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 Vietnam, Vietnam, that's right, just got back, I uh, was in Vietnam for five years, teaching English and stuff, mostly in Saigon and some other places too, but mostly Saigon for five years, from 2012 to 2017, I talk about that in my other videos, you can Google and stuff, if, if Google lets you, Google is not very good, Google won't let you see whatever you want, only if you're liberal, uh, progressively speaking and stuff, uh, because that's that's what they want you to know. They only want you to know that side. Google is all about depopulation, just like Bill Gates and Oprah and uh, Rothschild, uh, Rockefeller, and uh, George Soros and Obama and Bush and Clinton and the NWO and Davos and the UN and EU and a lot of other stuff and people and things and. I really, really want you to know that and really want you to tell other people if, if, if you know and stuff. But anyways, I talk about this stuff and either you get it or you don't. But uh, yeah, I got, got my ID and food stumps and I don't know how I feel about that. I'm still trying to put myself back together and don't know if I really like talking about, you know, being like a retarder person who got food stumps. Oh my God, I can't, can't help myself. But I really do think that I do help myself and I help other people sometimes in my life and I always try to do that stuff but even if you don't know that maybe you don't know that and this, that's um, unfortunate but uh, try my best to uh, figure those things out and everything but um, so I was thinking about thinking about uh, what I heard on TV they're talking about losing losing fat so here's what I'm probably gonna write on Steam it today. Probably gonna write, uh, you know, like every seven years we lose all our body fat. I mean, body weight, body weight. Like we totally lose everything because all our cells are replaced. That means we lose it. Now we get it back. We get it back. I mean, we get we may get it back or something. May or may not get it back. And it may or may not be exactly the same or a little bit different because you know the cells are splitting and stuff and you are what you eat and a lot of it's based on dna you know your genes you know small stuff the code the uh the blue script blue prints of your body 
you know, biology and everything. But besides that and beyond that, you got to know that, that, you know, being healthy and everything is all about everything. You know, it's not just simply, oh, we got to have this many calories and this much fat and this much, uh, uh, I don't know, what else, what else do they say? But uh, it doesn't really matter, like, as much as you may think, because there are more important things. And you have to focus on that, I would say. Focus on being healthy. Um, you want things to be natural. You want to eat different colors of uh, food. Because because those colors represent the colors of the rainbow. Different, different uh, vitamins and enzymes and, you know, good stuff for our body. Talk to a doctor. Doc, talk, talk, talk uh, to nutritionists. Uh, talk to different, different people. And, uh, and they'll tell you, you know, you can eat more often. That's probably better for most people. Eat more often, but eat less every time. I mean, each meal should be not very big. But don't starve yourself because you're like, oh, no, I ate too much. I know, I tend to do that, and I got to just stop and stuff. I'm going to try to buy a scanner. Like I said, you know, uh, got to buy a scanner to, uh, to, uh, you know, try to scan my stuff, documents, pictures, and stuff. I got some of it, uh, still in my red and yellow, not yellow, uh, red and green notebooks that I've had since, like, 2008. Uh, I keep it with me wherever I go, all over the world and stuff. Now I'm back where I started in Oregon, where I was born and raised in First Grove, back in 85. And I'm just a little tadpole oatmeal person, and I'm just trying to figure things out and figure out how to how to brand myself and stuff. If that's possible, if I can have an audience of people who want to know, who wants to do stuff. And it's good that we live in a world where things are getting better. Uh, for the first time in history in a long time, even as uh, evil rises, the good rises too. To uh, counter it, so we we still gotta be careful in the world because the terrible things are happening with uh, jihad and the NWO and China, uh, certain people, certain governments, corporations. Dude, we got all kinds of evil in the world: plutocracy, corporatism, technocracy. You got George, George, George Soros, Rothschild, Rockefeller, Clinton, Obama, Bush, uh, the Davos people, uh, the EU people, UN people. You got some bad people in the FBI and CIA, and, uh, IRS, and FDA, and uh, EPA. And, you know, just different organizations and even governmental organizations and even the um, Federal Reserve System, FRS, that started mostly in 1913 to, to make us some kind of fake money we call the American dollar. And it comes from the Federal Reserve, which is from an in mostly in Europe. Go tell people. And ask them, hey, did you know about that? They'd be like, oh, no, no, no. Even though it was on Fox, and even as that one guy was talking about it, then he got off and started his own network where uh, Tommy was on, and then, then that guy fired Tommy. Who is that guy? I can't, can't remember that guy's name. But it doesn't really matter. He must be not really in it. Or he must be a bad guy or something. I don't know. But, um, you know, we're people. We can make mistakes and stuff, but then eventually, you know, what is our character? What kind of people do we want to be? Are we gonna, are we gonna uh, admit to our mistakes and grow, or are we just gonna double up on the lies that we tell and stuff? Whether or not we're guilty or innocent, 
eventually, you know, we have an opportunity to to say I'm sorry, sorry for this, sorry for that, or we can just continue. Like with Oprah, you know that she's behind a lot of deep population programs in Africa, all around the world, just like Bill Gates and then, and Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook and Google. If Google has problems, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, a lot of the biggest corporations in the world are behind a lot of bad stuff. A lot of bad stuff. Just uh, ask around, and uh, a lot of people may not know. Some people do, and that's great. And you should be friends with the people that do. If you're red pilled and you like that, if you don't, okay. You know, whatever floats your boat. Uh, I'm gonna go into Goodwill and look for a scanner. And, uh, this is my daily update. Uh, did a little, little bit of work yesterday uh, for my dad two hours. Uh, picking up piles, landscaping, uh, and that was okay. And it was at uh, Pamela Jeans and stuff. And uh, still thinking about uh, what kind of stuff I wanna do in my life. Um, in the future, that is. I've done a lot of stuff already, I'm 32 almost 33 years old and uh, and uh, still got a lot to think about and still uh, a little bit all over the place thinking and still working on things and I'm still learning every day and then trying to spread it mostly on steam it but uh, I will try to continue to go to the to the online ghettos like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, wherever people are. The biggest, the biggest websites, the biggest social networks in the world are places where we need to go to. If we don't, then, then who's going to come in and help them? Who's going to, you know, because it could just be filled with uh, just, you know, the left progressive liberal people stay in the ghettos and they collect a lot of the people who are not really thinking not really caring and everything and that could be very difficult and and uh, it can be very sad and uh, so you gotta just uh, do your best to 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 be a light in the dark world and share your opinions, whatever it is, whether you're left or right, why not have conversations with people like like we we can and do sometimes. It's better that way. And, uh, you know, what can we do? You know, think about that. Uh, we have a lot to think about all the time. And we have opportunities with uh, blockchains and cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin to, to invest a little bit make money a little bit maybe or maybe a lot of money who knows but but you know why not try why not that's what I say today the word of the day is why not two words but um, why not why not try why not try I uh, think we can try a little bit more with the opportunities uh, the opportunities are bigger and better than ever in history better than it has been for thousands of years all around the world Think about that. Lots of people are waking up to the red pill, to things like Steemit.com and Gap.ai and Minds.com and, and um, you know different websites, different kind of you know uh, money, digital money. Not really digital because you know even the dollar can be digital when you're uh, wiring money from bank to bank or whatever. So you know money can be digital, but Bitcoin is not only digital, it's also crypto, cryptic, um, whatever, you know, it's part of cryptocurrency, it's a part of some kind of blockchain thing or whatever it may be, and it can go from peer to peer, so it's not centralized, it's decentralized, and so, you know, Rothschild and Rockefeller, those big bank people from like the 1700s, and their families that continue for the last like 300 years or more, they're uh, all about control and everything and they can start a lot of wars and they try to get behind 
funding both sides just like the Emperor in Star Wars he did the same thing the Emperor did the same thing that Rothschild did in real life so the Emperor is based on Rothschild if you don't already know for more information go to infowars.com drudgereport.com Cernovic.com and uh, you can go to minds.com, steaming.com for some, some, some news. You can go to newswars.com, newswars.com, infowars.com, drudgereport.com. And there's probably some others, but those are the, on top of my head. And uh, I still got a lot of work to do, as you may do too. That's good to have work and stuff, have confidence, have a little bit of fun, and be serious at the same time. You can do all that. Have a little faith, and why not? You know, do this, do that, try new things sometimes, and maybe it's not going to work, but at least you try to. You don't want to regret. And, and not trying things, new things, things things that may not work, and or things that may work. I mean, um, if it doesn't work, then, then stop. Uh... But tell people about it so that they don't make the same mistake. Or if something bad happens, tell people so that they can be warned and so that they don't do it or go to the wrong people that have done you wrong. That's why I tell people about, you know, people who do bad things because I don't want people to go around those people who are doing bad stuff. Even though they have the freedom to do the bad stuff, we should have the freedom not to mess around with the wrong kind of people, the wrong kind of crowd and everything. And I think it's better that way. And... That's that's my personal belief, and you can say, well, I don't care. I just want to make mistakes. I just want to, you know, mess around with the wrong crowd and get burnt with the fire and everything. That could be kind of stupid, like a big world full of water or poo or something. Water world or something. I don't know. Why would you want to do that? That kind, of, kind of sounds crazy or whatever. Um, anyways, I'm just uh, ranting like I normally do. Maybe... Some people would like it, or maybe don't. I think people do like it when I talk kind of fast and I say a bunch of random stuff, and I think some people kind of like that and stuff. When I say stuff, and then they're just listening, and then, but then I say something crazy every once in a while, and, I'm like, and then, you know, I get people a little bit, um, like, caught off guard and stuff. Uh, so I'm going to think about what I can do and stuff. Think about what I what I can do with, with work ministry where I live where do I want to live what kind of people do I want to be around because it's not just about being um, online and and making a difference online which is really good you also got to think about what can you do offline too because that has a lot of power and influence that you can have and and it's very incredible what you can do in the world it's good to keep track of it and show the world that's why i try to show the world maybe a little bit too much and stuff but at the moment i'm just showing everybody everything and i need to divide separate the good stuff and bad stuff you know maybe keep everything and and some of the some of the worst stuff on one side and then and then try to you know present the best stuff for people you know in the videos and the posts and the pictures and everything that i do and if if I can figure out how to do that, I'm gonna do it. I try to do it, you know, sometimes I've been doing that for the last 10 or 20 years. I started going online in the late 90s, probably mostly like 97, 98. Started going to the first code library. So I see some of the same people there for the last 20 or so years. And, you know, now it's 2018. So, you know, so I've been around I'm 32, almost 33 next month. So I'm getting older, but I'm single, don't have a family, don't have a wife, don't have a girlfriend or anything. But that can still happen, and some people are kind of like me in some cases. Every story can be different, every person can be different and stuff. And, and you know, don't try to compare yourself too much sometimes, but sometimes you got to compare two at the same time. So that's kind of like a paradox or something, but it's not totally a paradox, but you got to... Um, gotta just be careful so uh, do what you can and and make make a difference with whatever you got and be happy and that's all you can do so uh, thank you for listening eat more oatmeal take care